This is a typical boost converter circuit. Now, these components are very common. The only missing part here is a PWM signal for the MOSFET, which we can easily get from a 555 timer IC. Now, this is the schematic diagram for the boost section. Now, circuit is complete. Now, pin number 3 showed output a PWM signal, as you can see. You can also modify the resistor values for the duty cycle, but I chose to use 42% uh, of duty cycle. For the MOSFET choice, I'll initially use this IRF540N, but they just died instantly. So, I will use a salvage one. This is an HY1906 with an unspecified maximum drain source voltage. Now take a look at that bad quality MOSFET. Look how small the die inside of it. This is the side by side comparison as you can see. The right one is an high quality MOSFET. For the inductor value, I'll use a 200 microhenry one, but you can increase the inductance for higher voltage, but your MOSFET should have a high drain source voltage rating. Since I've designed this, this circuit for a uh, 218650, but I do have a limited space with this enclosure, I will have to use this uh, modified power bank module. This thing also has an overcharge and over discharge protection, so it's a good choice for this one. I will also use the data lines for the output probes.
that will be all i hope you find this one entertaining and if you do give it a like and for the next one i will have a review on this board so stay tuned for that and i will see you on that video thank you for watching